Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you how to attach a hanger to your macrame wall hangings using the constrictor knot. First, you'll want to flip your macrame wall hanging upside down and lay it on your desk with the dowel facing towards you. Next, you'll want to cut a piece of cord long enough to hang your wall hanging, and I usually just eyeball it depending on the size of the wall hanging. Take one end of the cord and you're going to wrap it over the dowel going from the front to the back and bring it up on the right side. Then you're going to cross it over in the center forming an X and you're going to pull it back behind the dowel and bring it in front of the long cord hanging down. Now use your fingers to slightly loosen the X a little bit and then you're going to stick that short end of the rope up under the X where it crosses and pull it through and then you're going to pull on both ends of the rope to tighten it. All right, now we got one side done, so we're going to move over and I'll show you how to do the other side. So just pull the long end of your rope over here and then you're going to lay it over the top of the dowel like we did before on the other side in the same way, come up on the right cross over to form an X, pull it back behind the dowel, and then you'll bring it in front of the rope and you're going to push it up to the center of the X. Pull on both ends of the rope to get it nice and snug, scoot it wherever you need it to be on the dowel, and then I'll show you how I finish the ends. I always have extra rope left over, so just cut that off first and leave about maybe two inches of rope hanging there, and then flip it back over to the back. And I like to just glue the little ends that are hanging down with some, just, I use this tacky glue, and just put a little bit of it on the back of the dowel. That way these little ends don't hang down and ruin the look of your wall hanging. Then just let it dry for a little while and you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching.